In this video, I'm gonna teach my method on drawing people. So this is basically the center mass, what I'm talking about, the human core. This is, you wanna think of the chest right here. So this is the chest area here. And this is the pelvis area, okay? And then you want the abs, okay? So the chest area, basically the volume you want to think about the way i like to think about it is think of it as like a vest imagine if this was like a like a, a vest with no sleeves and and no neck there's no there's an open area for the neck so you want to think of that so i think about it as so it's a, a sleeveless jacket now this sleeveless jacket has depth to it so imagine this core having this shape. There's a socket here for the arm. There's another socket back here for the for the other arm. And then there's a socket here for the neck. This is where the neck would come out. This is where one arm would come out. This is where the other arm would come out. Then you would have the pelvic area. The pelvic area is basically this round shape. You can always start it off with a round shape like this, but I'm gonna show you, just think of it as like, like a half dome type of shape like this. Um, I basically call this the underwear area. So imagine if this was, you know, through the balloon type of thing, it would look like, it would look like, like that. But here you have these sockets here, back here, which is gonna represent where the legs are gonna come out from. So now you subdivide that. Subdivide that in half, all the way down, and just add the midsection. Subdivide it again at the top. This is basically where the arms, your clavicle is gonna go somewhere in this region, right here, okay? Subdivide it again. This is basically the bottom of the chest in this area, like that. So this is the basics of how I lay out the human core. Once I have this core, I can go ahead and I can pull the arms out like this. And I can do the same thing with the legs. The legs will come out. Knees would be somewhere around here. Then the head would come out somewhere around here. Okay? So focus on the core. This center core right here. This is what you want to focus on right here first. The reason why you want to do this instead of thinking of the entire body, arms, so you're thinking of the entire thing, you want to think of the core first, is because it's going to make it easier for you laying out your pages, laying out your, char your characters, establishing if there's going to be one char character standing closer to you versus another char character standing further away from you. It's gonna help with all of that. It's gonna help you with the angle of the human body. You wanna think of the spine. The spine actually goes back here, like that. The human spine goes back here. So that's literally what's connecting all this together. So you wanna think about all these things. This, the center mass, where is it gonna be positioned? And then you can pull the arms and legs out. So imagine this is the chest and this is the pelvic area. So imagine it's, it's right here and it's connected. It's connected by the abs. The abs would be in the middle, somewhere around here. Imagine if this was the ab right here in the middle. Okay, now it's connected. So now all I'm doing is just rotating these objects in 3D space. So I'm thinking, I'm still drawing the same hand. I'm still drawing this, this other hand here. It's the same one, it's just at a different angle at a different angle, it's at a different angle, it's at a different angle, or it's at this angle and it's leaning to the, to the left. And it's at this angle and it's leaning to the right, or it's bending backwards, or it's bending forward. 
So it's literally the same thing, the same object, same shape, what you're using. So imagine that these objects are together. You're drawing these same cylindrical shapes and you're just moving them in 3D space and then you're just rotating one to the, to the right, rotating one to the left, and that's all you're doing. Just think of it like that and it'll make it a lot easier for you so you won't lose track of your character. You'll keep things in pr proportion. It'll make things look more dynamic and especially when you're when, when you're applying gesture lines, it'll make it a lot easier for you. That way you're not losing, you're not gonna lose focus and you're not gonna lose who the character is as you're drawing the character because you're locking down the center core mass first. Let me show you, the, show you a couple more examples. So just imagine I have a character here. This is his chest, this is pelvic area. His spine is going in back here. Socket for one arm, socket for the other arm, socket for one leg, socket for the other leg. So all I'm doing right now is thinking, rib cage, subdivide. This is where the neck would come out, connect. Imagine this other socket wasn't here. So now I have the, cent the center core. This establishes this character in 3D space at the angle I'm looking for. I know it's going. It's there's going to be a darker area here at the bottom because this is that's the angle it's I'm looking at. This it's, I'm, I'm literally looking at this. If I do it as a cylinder, it would look like this. Okay, so that's all I'm doing. It's just redrawing the cylinder, but as a glorified shape like this with a socket. Repeat the same thing with the pelvic area. Imagine the pelvic area was another cylinder like this. Okay, but it's a glorified cylinder for the socket right here or, or a sphere like that. And then you can take that and rotate it at any angle. Clavicle, chest. And now you start to see the character come about. So from here, you can literally start to establish the legs, the arms, the head, the shoulder, and the rest of the body. Lock down the core first, then you can play around with the, the, the body parts. You do the same thing with a female character. Imagine this is a fem female character, socket, flag jacket type shape, like this. Pelvic area, socket. This is a socket, this is a socket right here. There's another socket over here, there's another one over here. Pull the neck out, head. And then you start to forge this into a more feminine shape. Shoulders, head, ears. Subdivision. Character. This is the belt line right here. And you can pull the arms out just like this. 
You notice the socket here for your arm, so you connect it. You know the other hand is going to be here, some of this region. So learn this center mass first. And it'll make it a lot easier when you're placing characters in 3D space. Wherever it is in the panel, wherever it is on the page, this will work for, for characters you want, you're doing for covers, which is large scale. You can do any like small characters. It's all the way in the background. You can pretty much use this, this strategy for all of that. It'll make your artwork a lot quicker. It'll make your, your approach to doing layouts even faster. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. This is a lesson from Ryan's newest Gumroad, where he teaches the fundamentals of drawing. It includes lessons on rendering, inking, and making complex shapes. There are also three full unnarrated demos in there. Head over to the link on the screen to check it out. Also, if you haven't already, click that like button. It really does help with the channel and will let us make more content like this.